Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. I think it, we had just been sent to do something with uh, Professor Fig, or start my defense against the Dark Arts class. Can't remember exactly, but we'll see soon. Aha, here we go. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. We can track available quests from the map. This symbol represents main quests. Complete main quests will further the story and unlock new features and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. A little symbol with like padlock looks like. In these cases you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest with something to continue defense against uh, dark arts class and charms class okay let's try this out oh i gotta right click it okay the map is enchanted to help you find your way this will be incredibly helpful thank you now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okie dokie. Ah, uh, let's see. There we go. I have to do some sensitivity adjustments on my mouse. It feels like it's just a little jerky. Swipe weak and I just go flying. to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. 
To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay, here we go. Levioso. Give it to me. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully has Now, well done. Nice. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> this should be easy. Protego! Protego? Complicates things. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Nice. I know. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> uh oh, I feel like my guy looks a little bit too much like this one. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Let's see, I wonder if anybody I'd will hate to face Professor have some Hesh interesting dialogue or not. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Oh, there he is. Let's see. Um I'm not if there's anything up here that could uh help us out oh, it's locked okay nice work i enjoyed that well that duel was quite something everyone will be talking about it it was certainly good practice practice it felt more like i was dueling an expert sebastian sallow by the way didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. 
It was. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned jeweling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Okay, let's see. Quest complete. Let's see, so the next thing is to go to Charms class. Um, hmm, what is this? If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you. Lumos, not the other way around. Revelio. It's curious because I see this uh, treasure chest marker, but I don't see anything in the room. Okay. Off on another adventure, are we? <laughs> Um, let's see. Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts Martes. Looks like a black flag discovered by exploring the world. These quests reward XP, but do not advance the main story. Yeah, let's check one out. Like a moth to a frame, Lenora Everly appears to be looking for a clue. Perhaps I can help her investigate. Uh, rewards, appearances, okay. Go ahead and fast travel over to it. No, oh, okay. I was it too far of a travel at all. What am I missing? I think I want to bump the graphics just a little bit because I'm seeing just a few graphical hiccups every now and then. Um, hopefully, we won't have to exit the game or anything, but this should be a big help taking a few things down from uh, ultra to high. I've got a little bit of a older CPU and with the uh, transcoding going on and stuff as well. I think I'm taxing my machine just a little bit. Now I need to do an upgrade. Good for this year, sadly. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Hmm. Let's 
Well, let's see butterflies. I don't know enough about the castle to know exactly where that is. Is that is it literally like right here? Maybe, might be. No, there is like something else. Okay, um, maybe it's the marker over here. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Hmm. Moth looks struggling like the one's card in the picture frame is embedded. Okay, there we go. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Nice. Alright, Lenora, where are you at? Why would Slytherin put his common room? Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Okay. Looks like I got some new clothes, maybe? Let's check it out. Ah. Looks like I can't do anything yet. Maybe it's an outfit? Nope. Okay. Um... I wonder if I can't customize stuff right now. I haven't really dug around in this part of the, the uh, game yet, so. Could be an inventory, perhaps? It's my first time going through all these menus, so no idea. Collections. Ah, oh, there we go. Maybe it's in here. Ensemble, an ensemble for those with poison refinement earned by solving the mystery of the empty painting frame. So I wonder, does that mean I get to wear it? Um, let's see. This one, okay, an appearance. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe I can customize it later. Like, maybe I have to do the uh, tutorial first or something. Okay. Um, let's see what else we can do on the map. I'm glad I get to do a few mini game type side quests. It's like we're over here again. And. Cross ones, round one. Should speak with Luke and Brattleby about the secret dueling club. Okay. There you go. I like this little magic thread. It's uh, nice to be able to not have to look at the mini map as much and you know, this layout is pretty intense, so it kind of makes sense that they uh, added that to you. Like it would be really hard um, if that mini map didn't have the right amount of detail. Oh, this is stunning. Look at this. I feel like the speed at which a character runs is so crazy fast that just the uh, whole castle goes flying by. Okay. Good. There's one thing that I hope that they can patch away in the future is the uh, load screens at the doors. Like, that's a little bit 
strangely clunky. You think it they could load more and better than that without having to interrupt gameplay. <laughs> oh, not again! Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp. So this to thing is me, scary. Could find me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms. So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up Love a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Whee! I'll get you for this. <laughs> Oh, apparently I unequipped my clothes. Hold on now. Let's see if we can do that. At least I don't think he's wearing his clothes now. Okay. Yeah. Whoopsie. That's slightly embarrassing. Now right, let's go back. I want to stop and look at things, but I'm excited to uh, do another side quest. This is a lot more freeform than I thought it would be. Hey, there's something. We'll get us another flu powder. Mm, apples. I'm gonna check out that guy and see what's up with him in a minute. Let's see, I guess this door doesn't open. Um, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and get in. You? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Like, of yeah. course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Alright, let's do it. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Break through yellow shields with control spells like the levitation spell Livioso. Target lock lets you track enemies without aiming. Use left and right to change targets while locked. Interesting. Okay. I have to remove that. Lumos. Here we go. And this is awesome. I'm also not breathing there from it. It's so distracting. Stupid. 
<laughs> Lumos. Ultimate combo. Pity more people can't watch the duels. Easy peasy. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Hmm. Wondering if it's going to let me go run away or not. Kind of sound like it's going to be a pause until another fight, but... Hmm. Darn. That one was a little bit easy and I regret how uh, quickly I was able to beat it. So, I believe that means I... Since I don't have any black flags showing right now, um, I've only got main quest line left to go. So let's go ahead and teleport over to it, I guess. I actually really like the uh, fight system, though. I um. I am curious if it would play better with a controller. Um, you know, keyboard is just sometimes a little disorienting at times. Like, love PC gaming in general, but on games like this, where you gotta get a good, you know, series of combos going, um, sometimes it's just a little bit challenging with the mouse and keyboard dynamic, you know. But Professor Ronan tends to go on a we'll bit. See. We sometimes have to remind him ah. to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, Akio. Let's see. Here we go. No one is steadied. Oh, I thought it was. Ah! Keep spinning. Akio! That book is mine. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. 
Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! That would be lovely. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport? to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Oh, come on, you already know I'm gonna Accio the crap out of this. Simply, cast Ready? Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. Accio. But instead of throwing the marbles, excellent oh. happens to the best of us. Oh, you gotta let it stop rolling. Very clever. Oh, did it. See, you just took one try. Um. That's it. Did we get it twice? Oh man, I could have totally had that 150 if I would thought about the inertia. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Uh oh. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What's this? Done. Well darn. Robert Hunt Smith. Let's see if we can knock Action. her out. There we go. We can win by attrition. There we go. I don't know, this might come across as kind of flirty or something, I don't know. Didn't knock her out. Oh, tough one. I get fifty to beat this one. Nope, not gonna get it. Oh, that was rough. Wooey. Well. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Alright, come on, Robert. Oh, dang it. Stay I'm not exactly sure how to stop the ball rolling. It's frustrating. I tried by pressing 4 and the uh, left mouse click again, but maybe that's my mistake. There we go. Alright, surely I can line this one up and knock them both out or something. Come on, Robert. 
Ah, oh, rubber. Darn it. Nope, she's totally gonna screw me up here. That is how it's done. One ten. What a baller. Yeah, totally didn't hit that one hard enough. Oh man. Didn't do so well on this one. Very good, both of you. Well done. Massive failure. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah! I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Accio on humans, if you're so inclined. A word to give you be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. Let's see. Let's look around this room a little bit, see if there's anything cool in it. Another lock. I said before, I think I had to have Malohomora those locks. I just 
assumed that I could unlock them right away, just, you know, being around them. I thought it was just an opening. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Okay, let's see. Um, perhaps we'll check out our map. Hey, another side quest of some sort. Cassetta Bloom has a lofty problem with her literature. Wand handles and gold. Alright, well that sounds pretty cool. This really does feel like. I'd like to retire to Hogsmeade one day. Open a pub. Full future Hogwarts pupils with tales of my childhood. When my mother was here, it was a different professor. Apparently, nowhere near as nice as Weasley. I don't care if Weasley is nice. I find everything about Transfiguration utterly unnerving. I don't know why you'd be scared. It's not as if anything can happen while the teacher's around. Mm, I suppose so. Although, there was that one time that Hilda turned a story of cricket into a worm. What? Oh, it wasn't serious. Wasn't serious? Oh dear, I'm never going back to that class. I don't know why you're so worried. Just don't sit next to Hilda. Simple as that. <laughs> don't oh dear, I shall get in trouble for- Is everything alright? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Ah, oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Alright, well, let's see if we can do this. Um, let's try following. There you go. A little bit of a loading door there. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Okay. Got it. Only four more to go. Oh, where did that other one go? I thought that was my third. Um, where did I get them all? I guess I just have to look. There we go. There's one. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day. That is until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. 
had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He's such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced if he wasn't Pro Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Arbroth Smokies again. Arbroth Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to him now, although I still prefer meat pie. I wonder if that's a village or something. Never heard of it, but interesting. Okay. So, we gotta get two more books. Come on. I know I just don't do Akio flying books. I mean, come on. Can't be that too many in here. <laughs> It'd probably be specific enough, right? I wonder if one of them's like hidden really tight nook and cranny. I don't see anything downstairs, so I guess we'll head up. It's a little bit eerily quiet up here. Okay. Oh, there's one. Okay, I guess the other one is probably on the far side. Over to bet. Could be anywhere though, huh? Oh, there it is. Oh. Apparently got an invisible wall or something blocking our way. Oh, where did it go? There it is. Oh, that was so close. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Can we jump? Nope. Oh, looks like she's in here already. Or well, there's the door it leads out to her. Oh, that's wrong. I think I have to go downstairs. Boy, it feels like using this is really a must, because man, those waypoint markers are uh, pretty rough indoors. I feel like Skyrim did better at that like years ago, though, so I'm a little bit confused. I could be thinking back on with rose standing glasses, but I don't think so. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Okay. Let's see, we get anything from that? Uh, let's see. Inventory. Weird. The way that things were animated, I thought we had something. More collections. Marvelous twisting handle design in dark gray topped with a silver owl. Okay. Actually, let's go back. Got gear. I think that's where we can change some stuff. Progress through the main story and unlock. Yep. Okay. Let's look here. Ah, okay. Can I unequip? There we go. Um, handwear, just want to double check. Alright, facewear, headwear. Well, we could wear a cap for a little while. And what about neckwear? 
Okay. We're gonna throw some stuff on, why not? Okay. Okay, I guess we'll just keep it on. About outfit. That's quite literally the outfit, so we have nothing else. That's why I was running around naked earlier, unintentionally. Alright, uh, what else we got? Tinder day, first day at Hogwarts, and meet with Professor Weasley. Uh, let's see, these are all... What else we got? Looks like an undiscovered quest of some sort too, so maybe that's on the map. Um, it's our inventory. I think we already did that actually. Um, collections, we already went through all those. And challenges. Oh yeah, this is how we get our other stuff. Cool. The Year Appearance Award and Legendary Cake. Oh, that's coming up, I guess. I don't have it not yet. Bookish half rim spectacles and lucky leprechaun gloves. Oh, you gotta get six of them done. Relationship quest. Okay. I see. UI is just a tiny bit confusing there, but we'll get it. Hogwarts Sergalia spectacles. I guess we'll go back and look at our clothes again in case we get a boost of uh, stats off of that. Okay. Um, back to gear. Actually, let's look at challenges one more time. Make sure I didn't miss something. Yeah, there's just those two. Okay. All right. So gear. Face wear. Huh. Maybe I have to go to the collections first to see that stuff. I'm still a little bit confused about how this works. Okay. Hmm. Ah, the change appearance option in the gear menu. Okay. So let's go in here and change appearance. It's got to be a spell. That's, that's got to be why I don't see it. Like it must be a spell that I can't cast yet. Um, I don't see anything on there like, um, showing elsewhere like I don't see mention of change appearance you know looking through all these pieces um let me see that broom upgrades part and if I hover um doesn't show anything and let's go to the face wear for a second and yeah okay interesting all right, yeah, I think that's, that's gotta be a spell. Um, and I feel like there was, okay, talents. I wonder if that's how you see the list of spells that you have, because actually, no, there, there's a way. Here it is. Um, so change appearance, is there something that says that? Resto momentum, Glacius, Levioso, transformation. I don't think any of them are those, so maybe. Maybe this, maybe it's a, uh, a thing we'll unlock more info about soon. Okay. Let's see. I think we'll try for maybe this one, because it looks like we don't have any more quests we can do for now. Okay. Okay, it looks like we may be pretty close anyways. Okay, we are stuck on the loading door. And here we go.
What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. All right. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. Uh, well... Let's see. Sebastian did get me into the dueling thing. and I don't know what difference it makes. Um, I'll go with her since she had the Accio power. So maybe that'll like come in handy Nancy. or something. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. All right, nice. Uh, let's see. Just taking a little looky around the room. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Okay. Hello, kitty.
Good kitty. Goodbye. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right, collect a flying page in the Brook of Sachi and collect a flying page in the defense against the Dark Arts Tower. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. Okay. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Well, shoot. There you go. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Heck Remember yeah. to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Hmm. Different letterings this time. This time, F and two spaces. The mending charm, Reparo, can be used to mend broken objects and pieces in the environment. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Oh, I saw something. Wyvern Fountain. God pages. Fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y slain by the likely knight, lively knight in spite of himself. Okay. Um, looks like there's also a treasure in the area. I adore getting owls from back home. My father sends me one almost every week. No one sends me owls. Can't remember the last time I got one. Not even on my phone. Revelio. It's always so exciting to see the owls come swooping into the mm. great hall. I'd like to send owls. One of the things snipping is uh. Accurate. How many owls do you have? I sent Lumos. To an older raised one. But I think she thought I was making fun of her because she's been rude to me hmm. since. Interesting. Not sure if that's a puzzle or not, but having that treasure chest close by makes me think it is. Okay. Was it he was saying that we could use her para on? I haven't seen anything yet. 
kind of surprised that they would teach you a uh, thing and then just not have anyone to try it. Um, I mean, I heard his hint, but I didn't really know where he was you speaking. How was Hello, kitty. I gotta pet the cat every time you see it. It's a law. Oh. My mother always comes down very quickly. Okay. Maybe it shows up on the map. Huh. Well, um, I guess let's do this. Just looking a little bit more. Oh, here it is. Okay, finally. Repairer, nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, it works. Cool. Don't get lost. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Alright, let's see. Where are the gobstones? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Let's see, I guess anywhere in this purple area? Not sure. So she said the other students had them out of reach. Huh. Okay. Um. Maybe it's just a matter of 
walk around. I mean, I see some stuff on the map, but I just have no idea how to navigate there. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, one of them has a height indicator. I guess it's still a little bit higher. Here we go. Maybe it means it's on this level. Okay. Something even higher. Let's see. Can we get up there? Keep looking in a minute. This feels like it could be even higher than the area it's been to before, so maybe we'll find some up to over this way. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Okay, I feel like I'm still getting lost here, but I still keep going. Uh, okay. I just better run in case this thing decides to collapse. Gosh, that'd be terrifying. Maybe this will be my first one. Navigating on the mini map is tough. Oh, what is this? Um, hmm. Fifteen, twenty-three. Okay. Nineteen. Um, hmm. I guess we'll just try each of them. Okay, so it's not that. It's not that. Is it this one? <laughs> I'm so curious now. Weird. Um. Yeah, we can't do that. Um, well, interesting. It really does look like some sort of math problem, like something is worth 15 and then two unknown values make 23. I just don't know, is it question mark and double question mark equals 19? Wow, I don't know. I had to think about that. Ah, that's it. There's more to do. Okay. Ah, okay. So you got to fill in the shape. Okay. I think I see now. It's, uh, we got the down triangle and the up triangle. So the up triangle. Hmm. What do we have? Uh, this thing, this thing. Interesting. 
wonder if I do this and try to open it, if it'll show a little bit. No. Okay. Okay, the up triangle and the down triangle. So... 15. Hmm. Getting a little obsessed with this one now. 15. Something, something. So it's got to be less than... Eight. Something less than seven, I'm assuming. But... Wow, I have no clue. There's so many ways that you can do this. Nineteen. There's nothing in common, though. Well, actually, maybe... Let's see, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You count it starting in the bottom left, which are way over, and that tell you what things are worth. So that'd be three, four. That thing uh, would be eighteen, and then you need five. So this little dude would be five. Maybe that's how this works. Oops. I think it's this one. Okay. Now 19 would be, let's see, one, two, three. So this one is four, so this one is four, and this one is 10. So I need five again, so this one again, I think. I have no idea, but it's. Huh. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Is this the down? Yes, that is the down. Okay. So this one. Oh, it could be zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So this one is nine. And then this one is actually three, so it's 12, so we need seven, four, five, six, seven. So it's a squid mouth thing. Maybe, here we go. And one less than that, I think is, well, we got to do zero base, so zero, one, two. So two, 17, eight, which would then be uh, the spider, I think. There we go. Nope. Um, the upper one, so. Okay, zero, one, two, so that's 17, so you need six more. Oh, I did the math wrong. Six, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like the lizard, okay. I got excited and I just started firing off numbers without picking it. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Nice. That was a sweet little puzzle. Good thing to remember it. You count integers using uh, zero. <laughs> Actually got a hit on that for somebody. I'll have to give credit where it's to you. Okay. Jumper school uniform. Um, well, okay. Um, Let's see what we have with that, and it'd be really cool if we can change into some stuff. Nothing there. Oh, there we go. Wow, defense goes up by four. Well appointed. I don't know what the well appointed means. Well, cool. So, what do we do now? Still looking for Zenobia's gobstones. I think that I'll try to finish that little quest, and uh, that may be the good time to call it on the stream. Let's see. Looks like it's still some higher.
Huh. Cannot go any higher. Rebellion. Weird. Okay, this is actually taking me downstairs though. Ah, here we go. I think there had to be something. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. <laughs> Revelio. The goblet of fire casket. Goblet of fire rests within this ancient jewel and crested chest. The goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Triwizard Tournament since the contest establishment in the late 13th century. Awesome. Didn't expect to see that today. Cool. Okay. Um. Well, it's on the side of those gobstones. Let's look out this way, I guess. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I mean, it looks like one is here. Hogwarts Herbology Award in recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology. Hogwarts bestows a special award on seventh year Hufflepuff, Mirabel Garlic, from Mandrax, Mistletoe, and Booba Tubers to Bouncing Bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Well, that's awesome. See, look, 160. I mean, that's pretty far away. And so, My family has a lineage of let me see if I can track this somehow. There's got to be some way I can hone in on this a little bit better. Oh, I think I may have undone it. Uh, oh, no. Show me the map. I can't zoom any closer, so. Alright. But that is confusing. We'll look around at least for a few more minutes and uh, may have to say a little bit about this map and uh, how to interpret it for the quest because it's tough. Um. There we go. Let's just follow this back to wherever it takes us. You know, I feel like it's taking us backwards. Maybe I've just run off a muck on the uh, map. It didn't go anywhere I was supposed to have gone. It's always a possibility. Just saw it from the descriptions that I had to get in a high tower or something to, uh, Get everything, or maybe not. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. So, if this is just bringing us back to that courtyard where nothing was, that's not going to help anything, is it? I think that's exactly what it's going to do. I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm supposed to spot one. I'd better keep an eye on here. high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. Okay. 
That's it. I guess that is one of them. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Okay. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. That's my bad. I, I guess that you have to kind of do them in a certain order, or else you won't get the uh, quest markers to continue forward. It's a little bit unorthodox, but um, I don't know. You know, every game's got its own style, and I guess that's just something to adapt to. So we'll keep playing. It's a wonderful environment. I do feel like the character moves a little bit better keep an eye fast on high for my taste, but um, it is really cool to see everything. Ooh, is it up here? Down by twelve. Decker's jumper is cool uniform. I tried talking to her, but I don't think it. There's no prompt. She's just kind of standing around. Weird. No, she's supposed to be having a vision or something. Madua Onai. Sorry if I butchered that. Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as Deputy Headmistress to offer you the position of Divination Professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the time you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor, Professor Matilda Weasley. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just leave the scene. Oops. Didn't mean to break all of your fine china. Yeah. Yeah. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, you better. Tell me. It's all your fault. Whoa, another let's see plus one. Oh, it's a minor downgrade to the defense. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Oh, here it is. Right here. Okay, then. All right, Zenobia. Where are the rest of your gobstones? What are you up to now? Oh, there we go. Okay. Guessing by the end of this, I'll have traveled everywhere that I was supposed to twice. Just because I didn't know you had to do these in order. <laughs> oh well. It's been fun. This game definitely is uh, considerably more complex than I thought it was going to be. Okay. What do we have through here? Okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There we go. Accio. Looks like we're down to just two. Here we go. Yep, we've been up this way before. That was a fun puzzle. Okay, what do we got? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Mm -hmm. You can't imagine how inconvenient <laughs> travel was before I invented flu powder. I 
wonder if one of these windows is busted or something. Is it up here? There you go. Okay then. This one looks like it's really close by. Huh. There you go. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Okay. Oh. It's always a little bit terrifying. I mean, would you trust that magic every day of your life? It's pretty terrifying. Like, hopefully it doesn't have a small, tiny glitch. Ooh wee. I'm out of, uh, fast traveled. <laughs> it's alright. Hey, is this another one of the puzzles? Lumos. Yes. Hmm. Come back to that later. Sir, these kids will never be a uh, missing leg day. I'm telling you. I mean, flights of stairs is that? Jeez, like dying here at the computer chair, just thinking about it. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? <laughs> oh man, I gotta say, it's tempting to do a no, I think I'll keep them. <laughs> oh man, that was just sheer luck that I got those back in 24 hours. Um, Maybe if I play Slytherin or something, we'll be the hard, meany roleplay. We'll uh, stick with goody two shoes for now. They are yours after all. <laughs> oh, how wonderful! I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Hmm. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. An orbicular? Is that what that was? Hmm. Okay, let's see. I don't see anything marked as new, um, so we'll check. Oh, this also has a slot in it too, so I wonder what I can, uh, put on it. Oh, I took it off again. Darn it, get back in there. Okay, there we go. Alright, the Tucker's... Why is it saying there's something new? I already looked through. I, I guess it has to be the wand handles or something. Because I haven't went to pick out my wand yet. Um, oh, there we go. 
I need to add a little space there. That overlap is uh, a little bit confusing. Let's view it. Okay, we've already seen it. Wait, that's bizarre. That that had to be a UI glitch or something. The way that those things lined up and. It wasn't even as much content as it first appeared. There it was. That was the reward I got before. Okay, what else did we get? Collection of landscape paintings. Paintings. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. So there's something else. Oh, there we go. Let's see what's in here. Got our Goblet of Fire Casket, Ravenclaw Bust, and the Wyvern Fountain. Fountain. Okay, now we clear everything. All right, well, let's see. Let's look at challenges real quick. And it looks like Quest has something new in it. Gear appearance scarf, top of the class. We're partway through, it looks like these and um, I guess this one's just starting to show um, and maybe that was what was a new piece okay okay I think that that might clear everything up I think that the gear we spec is that um, lot behind the wand handle thing so I think it we'll go ahead and stop here for the day and we'll roll credits and say thank you for watching this has been S tier rank you can follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I will have a upload on YouTube here soon. Thanks. Have a good day.